and the most important thing in Nuxt is middleware. So you can see we have a directory called middleware and simple readme file which says that middleware lets you to define custom functions that can be run before rendering either a page or a group of pages. This is very important before rendering. That means this middleware will work before anything acts on your pages. So how we can create a simple middleware and how we can apply to this uh, Nuxt functionality, this video is all about that. So let's create a simple file and a file is just a name like test.js. So this is just a simple JavaScript file and inside that we just need to say export default and we are exporting a function and whatever we will do in this function is the middleware that's very easy so i'm just logging something so i am i will say i am middleware so i'm just logging this i am middleware so let's just fix this linting and like this and yeah it says unexpected console statement i told you we need to give the uh, comment but now this time I'm going to fix it properly. So I will go to eslintrc.js file. At the last we have rules and here I will say no hyphen console and make it off. And when I save this, now I will start the server. And if you have already started the server, you need to restart it to have this affected. Okay, so this is going to be changed and it's again saying something oh no problem it's done and how we can apply this middleware to any page it's very easy again go to any pages and remember these middleware are only affected on the pages so whatever pages you have inside this pages directory will going to have the benefit of middleware so i will go to the about dot view file and just like we have a head function just like we have a async data and now we have a new thing which is called middleware and we just need to define the middleware so middleware name is test so whatever the file you have created inside the middleware that will become your middleware name so the test file test.js file will become the middleware name of test and let's just give comma here save this file and whenever we visit about we are assuring that there is a log of i am middleware and that where so let's just go here and i will open the console or dev inspection clear the console as soon as i will go to about you can see here we have i am middleware that means it is applied and to show you that this is this middleware is going to work before rendering the page I will just refresh this page so if I refresh this page hmm we can see I am middleware here because whenever we are refreshing this page is rendering on the server side that means our log is on the server side so to check that log we need to go here and now we can see here on the terminal we can see we have I am middleware and that's coming from the server and this is very very important thing but this is only for about page what if you want to apply this middleware to every pages inside your pages directory suppose you have 100 or 50 uh, pages do you need to go to every page and write it no there is a simple feature or simple functionality you need to apply just go to nuxt.config.js file it's exporting all the configuration related to your nuxt like you, you have but here anywhere you can say router is have middleware and the middleware name is test and let's just give comma and because we have made change in nuxt config file we need to kill the server and restart it so this time we are expecting console log on every pages even on the uh, server side of every pages 
so yes it is working and as soon as uh, this is completed you can see two console log why because it is hot reloading and whenever the server is started it's reloaded so what i'm going to do i will clear it and now i will show you this thing so if i go to home i am middleware is there if i go to about we get two i am middleware why because one is globally we have applied here and one is on this about page so let's just delete this and save this file yeah it is recompiled and this time i'm refreshing so i refresh on about still i get i am middleware so the next point is how we can use this middleware in a real way it just console log and nothing is doing here so for that to show you how this is actually going to work i'm going to this website which is called recres.in or request response.in requres.in this is giving you simple api to work or to test so if you go here and you can see login successful whenever you give api slash login with these credentials it will give you the token and the same token this one so let's just copy this from here and i will use axios for this you know we already have axios which is like nuxt axios but this nuxt axios is not going to work normally like axios.post there is a simple catch and the catch is you need to prefix dollar sign with everything like dollar axios dot dollar post dot dollar get dollar delete these kind of things so we need to give a post request to this route plus api slash login so like this and we need to give data which is this one so copy and paste it yeah we have these things and let's just do the dot then part so we will get the response and whenever we get the response we will say log out the response okay so yes this is there but now it says oh dollar axios i don't know what you are talking about so every middleware will get the context context is like your uh, uh, next everything on the next so to show you what context mean i will log the context and I just comment this so i log the context i will go here and i think it's on the server side yeah here we have the context and we have a all list of things we require for the next so you don't have to care about all these things but what you need to care about is this context already have axios so you need to say context dot axios and this time it's going to work properly this means yeah we have this token here because it's already reloaded whenever i save this file so we have this token here and now we can simply use this token and to do some crazy thing like what i'm going to do i will say here like if response dot token is not equal to this token then redirect to base url or home page but again this re redirect came from context so context dot redirect and let's just see we have here and yeah because it is the same token we have so it's working so if i remove all these things and token is now going to mismatch it's now redirecting to it has to redirect to uh, home page but it's not doing this let's see why because it's saying something and it is saying that cannot set header after they have sent to the client so what i need to do i will just return it and this time if i go refresh this page yeah you can see i am redirected to home page and if i go to about once more actually there is some problem the problem is this middleware is applied to everywhere to the base url also so, so we can go to about but it will redirect to base url we can go to inspire it will redirect to base url so let's just remove this from our next config and obviously we need to restart the server so it is recompiled 
go here on the about page and let's refresh this and go to about yeah we are on about page but this middleware is not applied anywhere so once again let's apply it on about page so now whenever we visit about page it will call this api and if will if it is not going to match with the token then it will redirect to base url okay so let's go here and try to go to about no we can't then if i go on the url and type slash about yeah we are redirected back to the base url and this is how your middleware is going to work properly with any kind of page and everywhere so this is very nice you need to be care about but one thing more you can you can see we are using context two times so instead of this i will delete this context and i will just say inside curly braces i want axioms and i want redirect so both are here and this time it's also going to work properly yeah you can see so this is how the middleware is going to work and you can apply and we will actually going to see how we will use this middleware in a real kind of application so we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye